Okay, so this is a little test of the Alltop portable mobile onboard air compressor. I got it hooked up to a two gallon tank and we're gonna use an impact and I'll show you it can be done. They are about 140. can see this is a tank gauge top is about 170 next mark there is 150 should be about 140 is where it cuts off this gauge seemed to read a little bit low Now I'm going to air it up from empty and I'm going to show the uh, timer here. You can see it's empty. I'll put the stem back in. I forgot if I mentioned or not, but it's hooked up to a battery and which is also hooked up to a charger to simulate a vehicle running.
about 36. And this is a, uh, so, yeah, about 3, 30 minutes, 310 from flat, nothing, to 35, 36. That's an LT 285 70 17, which if I remember right, it's about a 33 inch. Okay, so what did this take to do this? Started out, like I mentioned, the all top 180 liters per minute, which works out to like 6.36 CFM cubic feet per minute, I believe it is, with a couple of modifications. First of all, This is just a quarter inch NPT, two inch nipple to a quarter inch NPT T. This is a 150 PSI, had to remove the one that was in there because it was too low. It's rated, labeled 150, but the original popped off at like 120 PSI. This is a pressure switch designed for air compressors obviously and this is a off at 140 on at 110 and I also took off the original factory um, I believe it's a Japanese style quick connect and put a regular Milton Type V, which is a lot better than the standard cheap Type M. Milton Type V, they're designed for high flow. And they're uh, a lot larger diameter. I'll show you the difference. This is the V, this is the M, the one that everybody uses. Then I just took this out, which is the uh, circuit breaker and the switch. And there's just two wires that go to the switch. All you do is cut one of those and connect two wires just 16 gauge because it's low amperage. Run it up here, connect it to the switch, and that allows it to turn on and off. Without having a hose attached and a pressure switch from the factory setup, it will not run correctly. So you do need to make some modifications if you want it to turn on and off. I have another video that shows how to wire stuff. Um, it'll be linked in the description down below of how to do the actual switch, but otherwise it's really easy. Like I said, all you do is just open this up, take these two screws out, and then this whole black part comes off. And these are just like the Smitty built and uh, XTM and there's a couple other brands virtually they're all the same I did end up having to uh, retap This adapter and put a two-inch fender washer on Other than that it's pretty good I'll do another video about the tank